so uh, we want to have a little bit of discussion. I'm sorry, I only leave us about this 10 minutes. Um, uh, but I would like to ask, what are your reactions to this? Um, I know you went. I was going to say, yeah. I don't know if anyone else went to the Conscious Network. Network. Last week is right after Take Back the Made, actually, and there were a couple of speakers. Um, there were some student speakers, there were some speakers. What was the woman's name that spoke? Mar not Miranda, Ma Marielle. Marianne. Yeah, yeah. Marianne, yeah. Something. Really big woman in like the metaphysical world of right. her conversation. Um, it was about meditation. Right. It was, but it was about, it was very much similar to what you're talking about, about acting and making a choice to see ourselves as part of this greater reality and that there's no precedent for it and there's no and there's way. no escaping it. Hmm? Yeah. And there's no escaping and it. And there's no escaping yeah. it. But we also we just have to create something new. But that it's in our capacity. One one part that was really cool is a man spoke about how the universe has always come up with a solution for the problems and we are part of that whole trajectory. Like there was oxygen was a waste product, but then photosynthesis was developed and plants were able to use it as fuel and then we developed cell membranes and that paved the way for greater life and then apes turned into humans and it, and it all progresses and we don't know how it stands but there's a way to get there and I don't know, I'm, it's all very yeah. up here but it was really connected to that talk and I, I appreciate the, the large scale yeah. and the the claim that we have to imagine something new because I think that we get really stuck. Even in art, even in planning events, even in like the small things we do. Um, just like the thing you were saying that we need to come from an entirely different place. Like we don't even know what that place is, but we need to come from then we need to create like a new a completely new way of living, which is what you touched upon and what what we like discussed there just like paying attention to the fact that like just we are conscious beings and that we're all connected in this universe and like that yeah like these things what stuff that's been growing it's been um, developing for the past like 200 billion years we as a human race come in the picture in the last 200 like just in the last 200 years we change we change shit around like drastically. So we are a power of cosmic change, which is what they um they said and, and we need to embrace that. And what you're talking about is really relevant to that. So yeah. Oh no, I was just gonna say something that I mean like when you I know we're not supposed to I don't know. There's no there's no shoulds here. Yeah, no, okay, but um like when you just think of it in the frankness of the ice caps are going to melt. Period. And you, and you do put it in that frame of, like, your daughter at your grandmother's age, there aren't going to be any ice caps. And you just sit there and you just take in that fact. I guess the the, prevent the prevention efforts and all that stuff kind of take a different shape. Like, kind of, like, we don't know how to approach that. What are you, how are you going to take in that new vision of the world? Something that has been there for two billion years and has affected the, the climate change in its own right isn't going to be there. And it's going to create consequences that we can't even fathom already. And I think just, I don't know, I'm still trying to simmer with that fact. Like, in my lifetime, on the news, it'll pop up. So the last chunk of the ice that, melt ex happened ex today. Exactly. And I'm mean, like, like, have that vision, I'm like, sitting mm -hmm. on my couch. But what it, it, like, but I don't even know what that means. It's unreal. But what's cool about that is that you're asking all those questions. Yeah. And I think a lot of times the problem with art, and even art that's tried to address climate yeah. issues, is it's a picture of like a dead polar bear. Right. And, and that's like, not, that's not that. effective. And, I, and, it, and <laughs> well, it's like, I'm like, I can pre that it's like, and all that stuff. And so it's like, I know the facts of evolution, but it's like the frankness is just the ice caps are going to melt. They've been here for two billion years, and they're not going to be there. And that, I don't know, that's just mind blown. Here, <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, 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 what was I going to say here? Um, 
it's a challenge because yeah. if you throw something like that out, right? Yeah. Your ice cap's gonna melt. Yeah. And you ain't gonna stop it. Right. And so there you go. Right. Right. And you know, there's 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 a reason why we don't do that generally, right? We're right. afraid we've got this one idea of what's gonna happen when we do that. Which is that you're just gonna go in despair and you're gonna go, I can't do anything, so I'm just gonna right. do anything. Right? Right? That's that's why everyone is coached not to do that. Mm -hmm. But you still have to know it. But but everybody who you do do that with doesn't just sit there with right, nothing. They exactly. don't actually do that. So, right. You know, but it's also big, and it's you know it's a little it's tough, right? Like so, there's a real challenge. The real challenge is, I think, one of I'm going to hold this big picture. I'm going to I'm going to engage this as if I'm engaging this big geologic event, and I'm trying to be part of it. And I'm going to figure out how I'm how I do that in the context of my one individual life and my individual actions and how do I you know I, no, you I, know I can't go stop all the you know cars myself. But you right? can do something. No, I can I yeah. can right now I can just advance the idea. Mm -hmm. I mean the most important idea for me right now to advance like my one thing I would do is like don't do anything yet. Sit with the problem longer. We jump to what to do. It's like we haven't even sat to like. Take it in. Take yeah. and go a few levels deeper about, well, wait, what's, if that's the problem, what's the problem with that? What's mm -hmm. that problem? You know. Um, uh, so, but it's encouraging. The other, I mean, thing that I'm encouraged by your reaction was this, you know, you know that the conversation's not deep enough that's happening around you all the time, and we mm -hmm. let it go by. Yeah. Now, that gets difficult, too. And I don't have an answer for you. It's a little bit of a like an exercise for you to do as you go through this. Like, how are you going to choose the moments where you're going to say, you know, that's not good enough conversation for me. It's just not compelling, right? And you're gonna and what you're gonna end up doing is pissing off a bunch of people and making a bunch of mistakes doing it. I've done it. Some people ask us sometimes. I mean, you, you could piss people off, but you can, you know, I, I could, like, get you to hate me because I get you down on your recycling uh, because I tell you it's just not thinking about them far enough. Maybe not you, and but people who have devoted their life to, so, like, their recycling program, and you tell them that the problem's bigger than that, and just talking about this isn't going to do it. It's an example of what yeah. okay. So it's... I'm going back to sort of the, the notion, especially as you guys are coming up with like what you want to work on for your final project. Um, right now, Carter is one of our contributing writers, and we're going to be publishing his art as sort of a social change movement. And we would love the opportunity, if you guys are interested, to publish your work as well, if it relates sort of back to a sustainable concept. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, you know, sustainability being a lot broader than just environmental climate change impact and whatnot. Um, so if you guys are interested, definitely reach out to me and let me know, or she can put you in touch with me. And we're trying to, again, go back to um, not being overwhelming and not daunting people and really inspiring them and educating them and engaging them, finding new ways to explain these concepts and explain these topics and get people to ask the questions that you're asking right now, because mm -hmm. I think that's what's really going to make an impact. Do you have other questions you want to ask or you want to ask um, I guess, I mean, especially like in looking at the eyes and seeing this type of, of art for the first time, like, do you guys have any inst instant ideas that come to mind to show something like climate change or, or a high-level concept um, as it relates to sustainability or even just a social issue in general um, based on this? I have more of a question. So looking back at the global perspective, how do we make large scale changes? You know, you're talking about evolution of our thinking. How does climate art affect populations of people who wouldn't consider this kind of art form generally? You know, how do you um, reach out to people who don't go to the theater and watch movies about melting ice? Because I feel like all that kind of art is directed at a, at a very specific population. It's not really very expansive. So how do you kind of make it more global? How do you make it an education and not and not a, something, not a choice that you make? That, that's the challenge, is to make it something bigger than just pictures of ice and awareness. Right? It's how to engage the subject and the topic. So, you know, it, 
I don't know the answer to that, but it would be, okay, how are, you know, how are we going to engage other populations in the world and their, or how are, how are those other populations in the world going to engage the crisis in their own way with the encouragement or the support of, of a, a different way of thinking about engaging? So, I mean, it, it ultimately is a cultural, societal evolution that certain things are going to provide an example for and certain things are going to happen in response. Some of it will simply be, oh, noticing, you know, it, a lot of it's going to emerge. You're going to notice, oh, that's, for, from the perspective of curating or trying to identify the climate art movement, part of it's going to be, oh, that just happened, that falls in the climate art. It wasn't, they weren't thinking climate art when they were you know, in my, that, so that's how I would answer that. I, it is not enough for me the idea that a movie about a movie about melting ice is climate art, and that's not enough for climate art. It's an example of a first step and a you know piece of it, but when it's really engaged, when it's really combining being a you know combining an artistic kind of letting go of and reshaping how we do things on a day to day basis as a as an act of art. And, and engaging a problem or a, a, you know, something that comes up in the process. That's still very abstract, I'm sorry, it's not quite answering your question, but the answer is, oh, think bigger. You know, I don't know yet. No, I, I, what I love about the whole climate art campaign and kind of um, sustainability is that it does put that picture in perspective. It's like, that's you. It's like you're, you're just this like spec and we get all wrapped up in our daily lives like I have to do this and I have to do all this stuff it's like well no you're part of a community and you're part of um, something that's been around for so long and I think that just the responsibility behind that it's like you have a responsibility to preserve the life that you've been given it's like you're you're here and you get to enjoy all these things but yeah 70 years from now it's not even going to look like this it's not even going to resemble something that you've um, exploited I guess, and I think that that in itself is something that's worth getting behind, because it just makes you step back and think, wow, I was like worried about all these things, and all this, and you're getting wrapped up in the little things where it's like, no, it's like ice is, slows it down, in terms of your pace of life, but also kind of, well, why are we here? So that's cool. <laughs> okay, I hate to get this conversation off, but let's give um, our guests.